glorious day, enjoying the golf. I'm going to introduce you to some injured servicemen who've come to watch as well, and John Simpson, who is the founder of the Encourse Foundation. John, good to have you with us. What does this day mean? Well, it's a great day to have the chaps here and see uh, how it's done by the professionals. And uh, what a great day. It's fantastic. Tell me about the work the Encourse Foundation does. Well, what we do, we teach uh, golf to injured, current and ex-servicemen and women. We then get them work experience in the golf industry and then hopefully full-time employment. Let's turn to Alex and find out Alex's story. Um, Alex, um, tell us what's been going on with you. How's your golf coming along? <laughs> uh, I'm trying. <laughs> That's all I can say at the minute about my golf. Um, but no, uh, I was uh, injured in Afghanistan in 2007 um, by a, a close Taliban fighter and um, he shot me with a the AK round and the bullet went through my helmet in my temple and bounced off the bottom of my eye socket and due to that I lost my eye, suffered a little bit of brain damage um, and then sort of come out of the army and uh, got involved with the On Course Foundation. They took me away to Florida and uh, taught me how to play golf. And now you've got a job out of this? I uh, have indeed, yeah. They, uh, well, we was over in America, John Simpson sat me down and sort of asked me where, where I wanted to go now I'm out of the army. And uh, I didn't really have an answer for him. Mm. Uh, uh, so he, said to, he uh, asked me, well, what about uh, greenkeeping? Uh, I sort of didn't really know much about it at the time. And uh, he, he, they managed to put me in touch with uh, Gainesville Golf Club. Uh, get me work experience, uh, did that for three weeks and absolutely loved it and then uh, got me a full-time job there. Congratulations on that. Paul, let's talk to you. Um, Paul Swain, tell us your story and what golf has meant to you. Yeah, well I was injured in May 2011 and I was uh, introduced to the on-course later that year. Um, not played much golf at all and um, you know, really, it's the best thing that's happened to me. You know, the work that John John Simpson has done is, is amazing, you know, because in the army, it's all about teamwork, camaraderie, morale, all that kind of stuff. And when I was injured, all of that went away and I didn't know where my future would lie. But now, you know, I'm playing golf all over the, over the world. I'm getting back with the guys. I'm enjoying all that side of things. So, and hopefully going to be employed later on in the year. So it's all good, very happy. Steve, I want a quick word with you as well, because I want to talk about the Simpson Cup. Now, I know Alex had the winning part not, not Alex, Paul had the winning part at the last Simpson Cup. You're hoping to play the next one? Um, yeah, it's, um, since I got involved with the charity, um, it, the foundation's just been brilliant. It gets guys together again, which we miss. Um, so, obviously, I've had the honour to, to be invited and um, can't wait for it. It's, it's looking good. Good luck. I've got to quickly ask you all, who are you rooting for for, t for, the, for the Open? Martin Laird. Martin Laird. A British winner. Uh, Lee Westwood. Lee Westwood. OK, it looks like the British are the favourites at the moment, guys. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. I played with Paul a few weeks ago, a three-hole thing.